Welcome network junkies to this video on configuring Flex Connect with the Catalyst 9800 wireless LAN controller. The, the 9800 is vastly different from AeroS configuration. The, the whole configuration model is just plain different altogether where we're dealing with configuring profiles and tags that get associated to access points. And that's how that's going to configure different settings, such as your Flex Connect settings or local settings, depending on what type of configuration is required in your environment. So what I want to do is show you my network environment where uh, what, what I plan on showing you will, will be the Flex Connect configuration. This here is my, my 9800. It's a, a running virtually on VMware. And just to quickly show you, I have one access point that is already associated and it has a default site tag, policy tag, and RF tag. You can tell that it is registered. It's, it's ready to go, right? And even if we look at the configuration of this access point, you can see that it is in local mode. So our goal here is to broadcast a single SSID, which I have configured as uh, Boogie Bomb. And that's the SSID we want to configure, but we want to drop the clients locally on the switch rather than bringing them all the way back centrally out of this controller and onto where the network wherever my controller is located. So you might have an environment that's distributed where your controller is located at a data center and we want to just drop the clients locally, have get their IP address and get straight out to whatever network, network resources they need to reach. So I'll be running uh, Wi-Fi Explorer Pro in the background. So you can see it's not being broadcasted just yet because we need to set up some of the, the tags and profiles. So what I'm gonna do is head over to configuration on the left side. And the first thing I want to configure uh, is my flex policy uh, profile. So I have a default flex profile here, but with the tags and profile configuration, you can get very granular, uh, which I like, depending on how you wanna configure each environment. So I will click on new there at the top. I'll give it a name and let's just say this is my, my San Jose uh, site. So I'm going to call it San Jose Flex uh, Profile for San Jose. So here we want to say uh, what the native VLAN is for that site. And I'll do it as VLAN 3 because if I go here to this tab, uh, I'm actually running a Unify Security Gateway and um, so this shows you where my networks are, right? So VLAN 3 is my lab infrastructure VLAN. So that is the IP subnet that my AP should be getting its, its own IP address from. And where I want to place users on, with this SSID is VLAN 129, which is up here. So that's the subnet that it should be receiving for clients. I'll go back to my controller. It's native VLAN ID three. And what I will also do is for VLANs, I will add um, that VLAN. We'll just call it uh, Wi-Fi for now and VLAN 129 for, uh, that's, a, that's the VLAN that will get added to the access point as it drops clients locally on the switch it needs to tag them so those are the only two sections i will configure for now which is general and uh, vlan so i'll apply that to the device then i'll go back up here uh, we'll look at the ap join profile uh, i already have one configured but this is uh, where you can configure different settings like your, your cap wap uh, timers, maybe management where you, you enable SSH and a user account, but I already have that there. So I'm going to use that. I will go to policy, create a policy profile right now. I only have a default policy, so I'll create one for this site. 
we'll, we'll call SJC policy profile. So I'm using a very similar naming convention. And here in this section under general, we want it to be locally switched. So we will disable central switching. It will also disable, <clears throat> excuse me, central authentication, DCP, and association. We will then head over to access policies where uh, I want to associate this with the Boogie Bomb SSID. So I will say one type in VLAN ID 129. Now that I think about it, I want to go back to general and name this differently. So uh, maybe we could be more descriptive with this. And I'll put in the name of the SSID as well. Just so we know what we're looking at when we see this policy profile. I will apply to device. That's all the settings I'm applying. Here, I want to reiterate typing in the VLAN. There is a drop down here, but it's going to, you're going to be picking the name of the VLAN. I want to just use the VLAN number, so I type it in. We'll apply that to the device. Then we'll go down to tags. So here are the different tags that get associated to the access point. We have a default policy tag. I'm going to create a new one. We'll call this SJC policy tag for my San Jose site. And here's where we map our SSID to a uh, policy profile. So I click add here. I will select the Boogie Bomb WLAN I already have configured. And what kind of policy do I want to assign to this WLAN? And we'll create, uh, select that SJC Boogie Bomb policy and click on the check mark. Then we will click on apply to device. From here, we'll go to the site tag. I have one default site tag, but I'm gonna create a site tag just for SJC. So I'll create SJC site tag. This is for San Jose. We'll use the HQ AP join profile that I have previously already. And here is where we define Flex Connect mode. It doesn't really say it, but we want to uncheck Enable Local Site. And you'll see once I uncheck that, now this Flex Profile uh, option is enabled. From that drop down, I will select the SJC Flex Profile. So we will apply to device. Now the RF um, tag, I'm just going to keep as default. And here we can statically set that site tag, which is the AP that's right here. The, the other way to apply this, the tags, is if you go to configuration and then access points, you'll see here is the access point I want to configure. Here's the IP address that it has currently, and it's in local mode with all the, the three tags assigned to it. I will click on it, scroll down, and you could see here the the tags now I can change the AP mode um, manually if I wanted to but what I want to do is assign the right tags to it so the SJC policy tag that I created and the SJC site tag and then we will save this update and apply and the access point will reboot and come back to join the controller Now, if I head over to Wi-Fi Explorer Pro, you can see that the policy has been applied because now I see the SSID being broadcasted. The next thing is to test uh, if I can connect to this SSID. So on my Mac, I will look for that SSID and we will type in the super secret password if I remember it. Let's see if that password works might have typed it in incorrectly but we should see whether or not we join to it nope it's just testing one two three four we'll try that again connect to my 80 megahertz wide channel and we will see if i have configured the infrastructure side correctly uh, meaning do i have the right 
uh, VLANs attached to the switch that I have plugged, I mean the AP that I have plugged into the switch port. Uh, so that way I can get the right IP address. So I can see that I'm not getting an IP address. I'm getting a 169 address, which means I need to look at the switch port. So why don't I do that and troubleshoot? All right, so I did mess up the port configuration on my switch. It was actually set to an access port on a specific VLAN. So what I did is reconfigure that port to be a trunk port on the right native VLAN, which is VLAN 3, and then uh, allowed por uh, VLAN 129 on the trunk port. So we'll wait for that to um, take effect with the access point, and then we will reassociate to the SSID. Okay, so the port was um, was reset, or I... I, I make sure that the port was able to bring up this AP again by just doing a, a reset on it. But we can see now that the access point has the right IP address on the subnet that I wanted. It is in flex connect mode. So now why don't I try to join that SSID again? Go down up to my SSID and it's not there again. Why? <laughs> All right, so it's not there yet because the access point is still booting up. Cisco access points take a while to boot up after you restart the port. So why don't I review the configuration again? The key parts to this was having a flex profile. In the flex profile, I have a native VLAN for the access point where it will get its IP address. And then I have a VLAN that will get added to that access point, which is, tie, which is gonna be tied to the SSID that I'm broadcasting. The next uh, section is the policy profile, where I have a policy for the SSID in which I disable central switching. And you can disable these other three, authentication, DHCP, association, if that's what's required for that environment. I then have an access policy for the SSID to, to, that also says VLAN 129 for this SSID. Um, I do know that if this is set to 129, but then you don't have a VLAN in your flex policy, then it'll use a, the VLAN that's set to this policy. Then we have our site tags. The site tag will, um, will, make it so that it is not set to local mode. You have to uncheck the enable local site. So with that, then we can go to access points and see the configuration of the access point. So it is back. It is getting an IP address in the right place. If we click on this blue icon here, we can see what tags and a policy and policies are assigned or uh, yeah, assigned to this access point. And then uh, we can see here that we are broadcasting now. So now let's try to connect to that SSID again. Select Boogie Bomb. Looks like I connected or not yet. It's still trying to connect. But now if I show you I am connected to Boogie Bomb and I have an IP address on 192.168.129.115. Uh, so it is getting the the right IP address and we are now using Flex Connect where I am dropped locally on the switch. So there it is, that's configuring Flex Connect on the 9800 controller. Something I have to get used to with the 9800, having to deal with more tags and policy profiles to create or profiles. And, um, but it allows you to be very detailed with the configuration. So if you have something specific for a site, for example, you can make that change pretty easily. But having that many tags and profiles really is going to be, be a complex configuration and you can get lost in that. So be sure to name things very specific so you know what you're looking at. And uh, from there, do a lot of testing, verify that the access point is configured with the right uh, tags and policies. So I hope you found something uh, useful out of this video. And if you did, be sure to give me a like button on the video. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.